this is Arlene from Adelante with Arlene and I'm coming to you once again from Florida. Yes, just recently I was in New York City and I'll be back there again. Um, I always take some time out and lately I've taken a longer break in regards to doing my My Thoughts video blogs. As many of you who follow me know, I have been doing more of the writing aspect of it than the videos. And that's because I have been in a place where I have been soul searching and seeking uh, within myself to have some breakthrough in certain areas of my personal life. Now, don't think there's anything major going on. It's just as a Christian woman, I um, like to reevaluate certain things about my life, especially when I'm in this music business, how I handle certain things maybe prior to serving the Lord and now that I serve the Lord. And the way that I make my choices now and my decisions about things. Um, why I do them more based upon hopefully godly wisdom is what I seek and what His Word says and uh, keep my eyes a little bit more open and attuned to what the Lord is showing me. But with that said, when the times get rough, like many of us, and we're seeking for some type of direction or some type of answer or some type of guidance um, in some area of our lives and we do not get it instantly, we tend to make impulsive decisions. So within my half time I spend in New York and half time I spend in Florida, I have come to the conclusion that I need to stop complaining and enjoy every bit of being able to be in both places in a year's time. Because I hope to be going to a lot more places and I'll be living on a suitcase again a lot. So it's all preparation, I would say. So when we find that we, many of us, that we want an answer, or we want breakthrough, or we want to make a decision. Some of us, we seek godly counsel. Some of us seek the Lord in prayer. And some of us just do whatever the heck we want to do. And many times get exactly what we wanted, or exactly what we always got, and many times that isn't good. So I wrote something entitled, We Cannot. We cannot have instant drive-through breakthrough in our lives in all areas it will take our going through to have breakthrough that will be real long-lasting breakthrough it will take time it will take work because it always is going to be a process and in the process of anything we know is where the beginning starts to take out the bad, bring in the good. The process is always the beginning, a means to an end. And within that process is where I have found in Christ Jesus that I have grown the most. It's not the victory for me, it's not in the outcome and getting to the other side. It's actually enduring and going through where I see the most growth in my character or another's character. And I also believe with all my heart that once we've gone through and broken through whatever it is that seems to be hindering us, holding us back, or that we're seeking for to get to the other side. Once we do that, we should never have to walk that way again. And believe me, sometimes it takes a long time. You're not going to want to. You're not going to want to make it through that way again. It's only with God that I believe this is possible, this breakthrough. I seek them in prayer. What's that? Conversations with God. Literally. Like I'm having with you right now. In reverence, I say, what's up, God? What's going on? What is it that you want me to do? I give you everything that you've given me. I've tried everything. I'm going this way. Why is that obstacle coming? Is it from you? And you know, and, and I know you say that may sound crazy, but since I gave my heart to the Lord and it was the best thing I've ever done, I have found that seeking His guidance and reading His Word and meditating on His Word and... Um, revolving myself under good counsel and godly counsel has um, allowed me to make much, much better decisions. Of course, there's those times that I try to do things my way, as we all do, and I want an instant answer, and then my heart is broken. And I really only have myself to blame, many a times. Make unwise choices and friends and who to trust. But you learn. You learn. So, again I say, only with God can I see and can we see 
this breakthrough. Again I say, only with God is it possible to have this breakthrough. So I would say seek Him, surrender all these issues that you may have or questions to Him, cooperate, cooperate with Him. No matter how hard it seems, keep pressing through and discipline yourself never to let your emotions such as anger or sadness or temperament or whatever it is get the best of you. Because most of the time, well not even most, all the time, it would do what we always did, we had what we always got. And maybe, just maybe, you're tired of getting what you always got and you want that breakthrough. Well listen, listen up. There is no instant breakthrough without going through. The Word of God in Proverbs 3, verses 5, 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all, with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. It also says in Psalm 34, 4, I sought the Lord, and He heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Fear comes in to agitate you to make impulsive decisions, to try to do instant, instant breakthrough or get instant gratification. It's like taking a wound and putting a band-aid on it and not allowing it to heal. The Word of God also says in Philippians 4, verse 13, that you, that we, that I can do anything through Him who gives us strength. And in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 16 through 17, the Word of God says, Now may our Lord Jesus Christ Himself and our God and Father, who has loved us and given us every lasting consolation and good hope by grace, Comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work. Stay encouraged. Don't go for that instant. Gotta have it now. Drive through. Break through. You're not gonna have it. You're gonna end up in the same spot you always were. Instead, do the work. Go through the process with God. When it gets tough, press even harder. Because once you've gone that way, and you've made it through, you will never come back to that place again. This is Arlene, and those are my thoughts. God bless. Thank you for listening. Until the next time.